Hello guys, JCNA007 back here with another Madden video. As you can see, we are on Mutthead.com again today. Um, we're just doing another quick review. Um, if you guys did log on to Madden Mobile today, you probably realized there was a pop-up about Campus Heroes. So Campus Heroes is both announced on the console and Madden Mobile today. Um, if you guys are playing Madden Mobile on console, you guys have Campus Legends. Um, unfortunately, Madden Mobile does not include Campus Legends as of yet, but they do have really nice legends. Uh, 99 Tim Tebow, uh, we got 99 Michael Crabtree, 98 Tyron Matthew, uh, 97 Peter Bulware, and a 97 um, Darren McFadden. So as you can see, the cards, they have the same design as uh, Madden Mobile would. I do like the background, it shows the map, and obviously Campus Heroes will relate to college, and it shows where they went to college. So as you see, Tim Tebow was at Florida, so you do see um, that little arrow on Florida, like Darren McFadden at Arkansas. So it's really cool that how they incorporated that. Um, but anyway, we do not have that on Madden Mobile. We do have the same elites as well. So we're going to take here a look at the first one. Um, Eddie Lacy, he has a 96 overall card. Um, Kind of hard to tell from his background. I do not know what college he went to, but um, he's definitely got some good speed, good jump, uh, good agility, definitely good trucking um, and stuff because he is a bigger running back. But I mean, he needs to lose weight a little bit, so I wish the best of luck for him. He does go around for 400 500k in Madden Mobile. Next up, we have Chris Long. They did spell it wrong here on this forum. Uh, thanks to Crane 9 for posting this forum um, on Mutthead so we could get a look at all the players because there's definitely a lot of players. Uh, Chris Long, he was actually released uh, today, I believe a couple hours ago, from the Los Angeles Rams. Um, I won't be surprised if he gets picked up soon because he's definitely a really good defensive end. Uh, really good 95 jump, uh, 97 acceleration, good pursuit, um, decent tackling. Um, but he's also really pricey. He goes around the same price as Lacey, 400, 500k. So I mean, you might want to consider that. But he is a 96 overall, and he does have some decent stats. Next up, we have a nice 96 Percy Harvin. This one is the most expensive elite as of now. He is going for 700k in Madden Mobile uh, because he's definitely a threat um, with all these green stats. As you can see, 99 agility, 95 speed, 94 jump. Um, 94 catch, he's definitely got really good juke moves, obviously, and elusiveness and ball carrier's vision. So he's and also kick returning, but that doesn't apply to um, Madden Mobile. But he definitely looks like he's gonna be a top card um, to get at wide receiver, considering his pace or his speed and stuff like that. Next up, we do have the safety Taylor Mays uh, from the Oakland Raiders here. He definitely has a solid card. He is a free agent, as you can see. Right to the top. I believe he did play in uh, for the 49ers, and it looks like he did go to college in um, USC or something like that. But um, he has 95 speed, 97 jump, 92, uh, where STA stands for, 98 acceleration, 94 agility, 99 hit power, which is one to watch out. Definitely in Madden Mobile because um, definitely jar a lot of fumbles um, because hit power is quite important in Madden Mobile. Moving along, we have a 94 Mike Evans. Um, he looks like he has a really good card. Uh, Maze was also 200k. Again, Mike Evans is 200k as well. Um, he's definitely 6'5", so he's a tall wide receiver. Hence why he's got good catch at 97 and good jump at 97 as well. So he's definitely got some decent juke moves. Obviously, he doesn't have the best offensive as you can see right here, but he's definitely got some good spectacular catch, catch and traffic. Um, some of those stats don't really apply towards Madden Mobile, but he's a tall one, and I do like tall wide receivers like Megatron, um, Brian Finneran. Um, those players are definitely nice to grab. Moving on to another 200k player. It is Blake Bortles, quarterback for the Jaguars, as you can see. Um, of course, he'll definitely have good throwing power at 95. Uh, throwing accuracy, 94. Throwing accuracy short, 94. Throwing accuracy medium is 92 and deep is 89. So he looks like he'll be a solid card at 200k, maybe 
maybe a little bit pricey. You could probably find a better quarterback less than 200k. But um, obviously, he's pretty solid. Moving down below, we have Devin Hester, 93. Similar to Percy Harvin, he's probably a very overpowered player with 98 speed, 98 acceleration, um, 97 elusiveness, 98 ball carry vision, um, a lot of good juke moves, 100 kick returning. So he's going to be one to look out for. He's also around 200k and 93 overall, so he's definitely a really good card. So the rest of them, we're just going to kind of scroll through. As you see, we got David DeCastro. Is he still through the Pittsburgh? Yep, he is still through Pittsburgh. Uh, 98 strength. Um, he's definitely a good run block, uh, pass block. I might pick him up at offensive guard because he definitely looks solid um, to pick up. Anyway, we also have Carlos Hyde. Uh, for the 49ers, Amukamara for the Giants, Trey Waynes, I believe, for the uh, Vikings, Brandon Spikes for the Patriots, uh, Manti Teo for the 40, uh, Chargers, uh, Jermichael Finley. He still plays. I don't, I don't even know if he still plays. He was on the Packers, but I guess he still plays, unless this is a, um, like a flashback kind of. But, uh, yeah, so we also have an 89, Jermichael Finley. Uh, 88, Devin Still, that's a really nice one. Um, if you guys probably heard of his story, um, Leah Still, um, she is now cancer-free, so that's really great news. Um, again, here's another glitch. It says Alan Hearns, 84, at middle linebacker. Obviously, Alan Hearns is a wide receiver. Um, that actually is Shane Scott. Of, uh, am I pronouncing that right? Shane? Is it Shane Scott? For the 49ers, he is a middle linebacker. Is he 40? I think he's 49ers. Um, so yeah, that's a mistake made by uh, Whitehead, unless this forum is a little glitchy. We also have AJ Hawk, Dominique Easley, Dante Fowler. He should be back for the um, Jaguars, and he'll probably be really good. Jeremiah Ratliff, Ikrin Karimi. Uh, we got a lot of guys who are not well known. Um, Terrell Pryor is definitely... A guy to look out for. He's definitely got great speed at the quarterback position, so I might try out his gold card. Um, it looks really solid. We also have really nice offensive tackles at gold uh, players, and pretty much these are all the players. Trey Mason, Michael Griffin, Trey Kirkpatrick, Jonathan Casillas, Janelle LRB, Glenn Dorsey, Louis Nix III, Chris Canty, um, Kevin White, Devin Funches, Kobe Ford, Noshan Moreno, Justin Gilbert, um, Mark Kersleich, uh, Aaron Henderson, Anthony Fasano, um, and Christine Michael. So those are pretty much most of the players, I believe, um, if C. Crane did not leave anything out. But thanks to C. Crane, Nine, and Mutthead for posting this forum. Um, definitely helps. I hope you guys get a nice overview of the Campus Heroes. Um, I'm coming out with another video, as you guys know. Noob Kill um, did tell us about a um, new EA game. It's NBA Live Mobile. It's pretty much the same thing, but NBA version. So I'll probably be bringing that to my channel as well. So make sure you hit that like button on this video so I know that you'll like this video as well as looking for future content on NBA Live Mobile. So yeah, I'll be posting a video of NBA Live Mobile in just a little bit after this video. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys take care. I'll catch you guys in just a little bit.